Um, well, today, a very special episode of the Great Scott Podcast. Um, we have some exciting news here at Coldwell Banker Maritime Realty. I have a special guest joining us, or two special guests in the studio today joining us. One of them is Chris Perkins, broker owner of Coldwell Banker Maritime Realty, and Marianna Cowan from Coldwell Banker Super City, who is uh, coming over and joining us and bringing a wealth of knowledge and years of experience, 30 plus years. 38 years. 38 years. Started Super City back in 1997. 97. 97. I had 96. Well, that article lied to me. <laughs> <laughs> And also known as the first lady of Halifax Real Estate. That's what I've been told. That's what you've been told. <laughs> Good. Well, thanks for joining us today, Mariana. Oh, thank you for having me here. So, um, well, yeah, we got some big news uh, about what's happening here at the brokerage. Um, there's uh, probably already been a news release, I think, by this point in time. When, uh, yeah. On, on, yeah. Earlier today. today. Earlier today. Oh, is it? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I'll, well when, when this episode drops. Oh. Okay. <laughs> yeah. 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 Okay. Yeah, so yeah. Not today. Today. Not today. Okay. <laughs> yeah. 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 Um, let's uh, let's uh, start uh, at the beginning and and how all this uh, came about. Who who. Uh, who wants to go first? How do I know you, Marianne? Yeah. We yeah well, well, you got history, right? Yeah, yeah that's we right. Have history. Yes. Yeah. We've known each other, gosh, even when you were in uh, Alberta. Alberta, yeah. we had met. Gen Blue, probably. Yes. On one of the Cobra Banker conferences. conferences. Yes. Mm -hmm. yeah. So that was quite a few years ago. Mm -hmm. And then when you were coming to make a change um, from um, Alberta, you came to me and talked to me. And I should shut the phone off. Okay. You know, so we were, so uh, it was uh, years ago in Alberta, Jen Blue, and you were approaching, uh, and you had contacted Mariana about. Well, Mariana was one of the instrumental reasons that I even ended up in Halifax. Like Joelle and I yeah. went to see you. We were in visit. We were on Prince Edward Island, That's and right. we decided that okay, we love the East Coast and we'd like to potentially move here, and we had no idea what that was going to look like. So we decided to. Call Mariana, because who else would I call? And she was in Fox Harbor at the time, mm -hmm. and said, why don't you come see us? I was like, absolutely. And basically in that two hour meeting we had, Mariana gave us the confidence that yes, we can up and move to Halifax. So thanks for that. <laughs> oh, glad to help. Yeah. yeah what year was that? Oh, Seven years ago? 2017, probably. Yeah. Oh, okay, yeah. yeah. I guess that is seven years ago now. Yeah. We had a plan in yeah. 2017 to move here by 2020, and we had our bags packed within six months. Packed the cars, drove across the country, and that was it. We landed here. Yeah, landed so no, here. and they did extremely well. So, I, I mean, I knew that just knowing Chris and Joel mm -hmm. um, prior to in Alberta and, and knowing his accolades that he, what he was achieving there, mm -hmm. that if he has that background, he, you can do it anywhere. Yeah. You don't have to be from this area. I was not born here. I wasn't. I didn't know anybody when I started real estate at 23 either. So if you can get to the basics and relationship build, and you can build a business. Yeah, Chris is very good at uh, relationship building for sure. Absolutely. <laughs> I remember when I met Chris the first time. Yeah, in that coffee shop over on South Park Street. Yeah, that was early days. That was that was early days. Yeah, oh, yeah. those were early, early, early days. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And um, yeah, Chris just uh, has that vibe, that uh, ability to uh, uh, communicate well, speak uh, speak well, and uh, just draw people in. Yeah. Thanks, Adam. <laughs> you're, you're welcome, Chris. <laughs> Marianne, tell us about your background, your experience, and what you're bringing to you know our now combined team. Wow, uh, my experience. Well, I said, mentioned I'm I'm in my 38th year of mm -hmm. my career. Um, I started basically the basics, trying to figure out what it is, what I had to do, because there was really nobody teaching me what I had to do, other than somebody said, open up a phone book and start cold calling. That wasn't really my cup of tea, so I just started looking outside of actually Nova Scotia, where, what are other people doing in the States or in Canada, and I started mentoring a few people, and uh, followed at one point Craig Proctor Systems and put systems in place and then put a team in place and had a very huge team. And So you looked outside of the province. I looked outside for, the province for, for guidance. For guidance. In order to get where I needed to go. Yeah. I had goals, aspirations, and I needed to prove to myself that I could do what I needed to do. Mm -hmm. And 
also prove at a young age it was a very male dominant business at that time mm -hmm. and I had to exceed so that's what I did is went out and put systems technology people in place and I was able to soar from there yeah great um, so what um what, well, what do those systems look like exactly? So it, I never forget that I sat down like, how am I going to do this? And boy, I need a pile of money. <laughs> uh, so I put a business plan in place, a very basic business plan with a whole lot of things that I was going to, to do. But I knew I needed to have technology, systems, servers, different things like that. Um, I needed to have be able to have people to service the properly so that I could do what I did best, and that was get in front of people. Mm -hmm. So I needed to have basically a line of credit set up, sold it all up, went to the bank, and I said, look, I don't have a whole lot of money, but this is what I'm going to do. This is my action plan, and I had it all spelled out exactly what I was going to do. And luckily enough, I met a lady who actually believed in me and managed to give me what I needed to do, and then the rest was history. That's great. And her and I are great friends, and at the same time, she's done extremely well with RBC and I yeah. give all the kudos to her and every time we see each other. Do you want to name drop? I can name drop. Her name was T Tracy Sarlos. Tracy Sarlos. Yeah, with is RBC. She, is she still in the industry? Oh yeah, she's, yeah. In the industry. she's been all over the place and she's done extra. She's she's like I say, she was everything to me and yeah, yeah. that's to, great to get where she yeah, yeah to get where I am today, and it and it a lot of it like I tell people is you have to believe in yourself that you can do it, not. You know, well, how am I going to do it? Everything is, I always say, is everything is figure outable. Um, if you have a desire and want to do something, there's always a way of, of doing it. Mm -hmm. You just have to search it out or get the right people to, to do it with. Right. So I surrounded myself with a lot of people outside of Nova Scotia that I have a great connection all across, well, really North America, that we would mentor each other, coach each other, and and be accountable with each other. This is how many um, transactions we're going to do this month, or whatever. And then we would, you know, talk to each other all the time. And that's sort of what I like. Try I, that I believe that I'm going to bring to the table for Maritime Realty and what I've been doing with my agents previous is helping with that accountability, but helping them believe in themselves so mm -hmm. that they can reach their true. Yeah. potential because a lot of people don't believe what they have inside them that mm -hmm. they can actually do it I just I'm just a simple person and had some really high expectations that I put on myself that I think I had to figure out okay how am I going to do this yeah and be able to do what I want to do still support myself my family and now it's to have a better life um, and be able to give back to the community and be able to do what I want to do. Yeah. And it does take money to do a lot of these things. Yeah. And so why not make it and earn it and give it back? Sure. Yeah, absolutely. And so, uh, sorry. Before we, this is fantastic. Is the sound okay? Yeah. From a distance from the mic? Yeah, it's making that perfect. Okay, is great. it? Okay. okay great. Perfect. Great. <laughs> Don't need to... Yeah. Yeah. We don't want to go, <laughs> right. no, I, we don't want to go back and do all that over again. Um give back to the community. Yeah, giving back to the community. Money. Um I just want to circle back to because that conversation's been had uh, a couple of times. I mean Chris and I have had that conversation about, you know, motivation, accountability, um, just simply for ourselves and, and every every at the start of every year and you know, what we could do more of or or what we could be better at and mm -hmm. how we can keep ourselves uh, accountable. Um, I was just commenting actually just this morning about how overwhelming a lot of those things can be, just like basic things. Basic things. Yeah. How did you overcome some of these things, starting out fresh, 23 years old, well, didn't know anybody from out of province? It was putting um, actions in place, mm -hmm. basically is okay what was my goal for the year and I always went by transactions not dollars yeah. I wanted to achieve so many transactions and the dollars would come with that right so I you know looked at looked at myself okay I wanted I basically I think the first year I said I needed to do one a month or, or at least 12 that first year mm -hmm. okay what activities am I going to do what's the time frame that I'm going to put inside so when I coach her with the agents now I'll say to them okay what's the big picture why do you need that? What you know, understanding. Okay, is it a trip for the family? Is it putting money or a new car or something? Because there has to be a little bit of motivation. What's going to drive you to get that 
particular goal you want. So is there any um, events or anything there that's going to take you away from doing business? And I even do it now, okay, am I traveling? What's my year look like? So I time block. Well, I know I'm not doing that. So I, if I have goals, I want to do, say, 200 transactions this year, and I'm going to be away for six months total. Well, I only have X number of days to do this business. How many calls? How many people do I need to see? What? How many transactions? Blah, 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 blah. So that's how I step it out. Mm-hmm. So I'm going back to the basics is you. how many people am I going to get in front of? Mm-hmm. Right, that's the key thing is getting in front of people. Whether I know everybody's digital and all that, but I still believe in face-to-face contact or picking up a phone and talking to people. This texting and all this stuff is great, (laughs) but people don't, I believe, get a sense of who you are or actually do you actually care about me. I know when I text or or even would say, Chris, he'll ask a question, I'll I'll do a quick answer. (laughs) But I'm not trying to seem like I'm in a rush, or I'm, but that's what I'm doing, right? I'd yeah. rather chat sometimes, but I know everybody's busy. But if I can see something's going off the rails, or I sense they're not getting really how I feel, okay, yeah. I have to pick up the phone and say, okay, I'm not upset, or I'm really interested in you. I'm not trying to blow you off, or any of that kind of stuff. And, you know, we do care. I've had so many agents, well, nobody's calling me back. Nobody, I said, have you picked up the phone? And then they'll, and then I'll follow up. Did, how'd you do? Well, I haven't heard back. I said, did you pick the phone? No. I said, okay, pick up the phone, please. Just do it for me. <laughs> they pick up the phone. Oh, my God, I talked to them. Great conversation. I've got an appointment with them. Mm-hmm. So it does work by actually communicating with people. <laughs> it's all stars. It, it is. is. It's so yeah, easy to sit behind a laptop and... Yeah. Send oh, yeah. text message, send an email, but so, you know, well, I've done my jo- oh, to see people I've, and yeah. speak to people. Yeah. Yeah. People say, oh, I, I did it, I, I checked that off, I, you know, I did my 10 emails, I did this. But do, did you actually have a conversation or a communication back and forth type of thing? Mm-hmm. You need to keep doing those things. But like I even say to them, I said, meet and greets. You know, there's all kinds of still social things out there that you can still do. Even if it was on Zoom, they were doing Zoom. Mm-hmm. But now I... There's one lady that I'm excited for. She's getting ready to write her, her um, do her license or her exam. And I already started sending stuff to her. And I said, there's a meet and greet here. And so she already went to it. She's got a bunch it's of a great names, time, great time bunch yeah. of names already to go. So mm-hmm. she writes next week or a week and a half from yeah. now. And, yeah. you know, I'm excited to get her all rolling up, you mm-hmm. know, what she needs to. That's my high now is watching people implement things and them achieving their goals is what I like seeing now more than ever now. Yeah, that's good. Yeah. Yeah. I got a high on that too. I like coaching. Yeah. 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 No time for me to coach right now though. <laughs> <laughs> but I, 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 you know, I, I like that. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. You and I have gone to several networking events together and they've always been positive, right? Just yeah. Yeah, they have. Yeah, well, if it's them. anything, it's it's showing that you're out in the community, you're out there, right? And saying, oh, I see you everywhere. Or mm-hmm. you're not, it may not necessarily that they are seeing you everywhere, but that, that perception is there, right? Mm-hmm. And that you're actually doing something, even if it's like, you know, I met one of your agents um, at a golf tournament this mm-hmm. summer yeah. or yeah. fall, I guess. Yeah. And it was great to see him. You know, it, it is nice to see people. Mm-hmm. You know, even if it's not in their normal environment and, mm-hmm. and that kind of thing. And that will help people or agents um, meet other people. Like, I try to explain to people, I said, yes, if you're volunteering, you're doing stuff. But you may be able to make a connection from one person to another to help sell a house. Mm-hmm. And that, So the more you're out there, the more you can bridge people. That's what we're, we're connectors mm-hmm. and everything. To find a buyer, find a seller, or, you know, somebody to help and that kind of thing. So it's... The more you can get out there, it's not just um, trying to get the business, but it's also maybe business to business for people and stuff like that too. That yeah. can also reciprocate. Yeah. It's important, important to tell everyone that you are a realtor because I know some people seem to be shy about you know yeah. talking about yeah. you know, talk about real estate yeah. because that's their expertise. Yeah. So they yeah. might, you know you could pretty much provide value in yes. the conversation. Everyone's curious about the real estate market, I think. Yeah. Yeah. So talk, let's talk about it. let's provide that value. Yeah. yeah, like people will say, well, well, what, you know, what is it? And I said, I am a, uh, I am a, a realtor. For foremost is that I am a realtor, but I'm a connector, a relationship builder and everything like that. So, yeah. you know, you can't, don't shy away from it, right? Because we, you know, we do provide a value. Some people don't think we do, but bottom line, we do provide a value. Yeah. And then I, and then I find that there's those people that want to ask about the market. 
but don't actually care about what you have to say. <laughs> but because we're realtors, we're like, well, <laughs> let me get my notebook out. <laughs> Real estate is always good. Yeah. There's always a buyer and always seller. There's there's always something happening in it in the world. Yes. Nothing stagnant, right? Yeah. So. Yeah. Yeah, um, I, you know, just to, to toot my own horn. You, you were saying it just before we sat down. And like, maybe we don't toot our own horns enough. And so, you know, just to toot my own horn, I do a lot of outside of the box things uh, to get in front of people. I One of them is um, I host trivia nights <laughs> in cool. Chester. Yeah, and um, I, at the start, uh, I started it late last year. And at the beginning, I was a little hesitant about, you know, being so forward about who I was, even though I have uh, uh, a banner that says who I am and I introduce myself as who I am. But, uh, um, you know, I was always, I was a little timid about asking anybody, you know, jokingly, but not jokingly, if they had any real estate questions before we got into the uh, mm -hmm. evening. Um, but uh, now I, I have no problems whatsoever. And I'm, and I'm, and I'm funny about it. And I'm light about it. And I, and I I'll walk the room and I'll approach mm -hmm. tables and have conversations. And towards the end of the last session I did in the fall there, I had lots of people come to me and have conversations with me about, uh, mm -hmm. you know, what they're thinking about doing in the future, taking my business card, you know, right. you're making really important contacts. And, yeah. and you're doing this, you know, for free. Added, for free you know, you're yeah. providing all the equipment for free. You're putting in a ton of time to create these questions. Like I've seen you do it. It's not, yeah. it's not that easy to do. No. And you're doing it for people's enjoyment, but yeah. you know, obviously, you still want them to know that you're in real estate. Exactly. Right? Yeah. So, yeah, that's the trade off. But, being, being but in front also, of people, people for, uh, like I say to the agents, don't be scared to ask for help and say, "Look, mm -hmm. I just started in the business, or even now, you know, I could use your help. Do you know of anybody thinking of buying, selling real estate? Please think of me." Mm -hmm. yeah. just you know you're here to help but they people like to help each other too yes. but don't be scared to ask for help yeah absolutely right. yeah it's you know? a roundabout way of yeah. asking for business, business. yes yeah. yeah absolutely Yeah, I could That's use good. your help I could use your help yeah. yeah Chris has been using that term a lot recently <laughs> that's what I used when I got here because yeah. yeah. I needed yeah. help right I didn't know anybody yeah um, you know but one of the first things I did when I got here I'm a big Liverpool fan so I looked for the Liverpool Supporters Club, and there wasn't one. So I was like, there, there has to be Liverpool fans in Halifax. <laughs> so I created a Facebook page, and our very first meeting we had was six of us sitting around the table. Mm -hmm. Fast forward three years, we're in the Champions League final, and we had the, the place full of 240 people. So from that network, I asked, I, I let people know I was in real estate, and I said, can you help me? And they did, you know? Mm -hmm. Not maybe I was surprised at the time, but um, yeah. you know it's not surprising really because, like you yeah. said, people want to help people. Yeah, 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 yeah absolutely. So um, we talked a lot about the past. Let's talk a little bit about the future and uh, what we see happening here um, over the next. I don't know. What's what? What, what, what are? Well, I'm really. How, I'm do, we, how do we come? So we're, we talked. We talked about the past and 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 uh, agents and whatnot. Let's talk about uh, the coming together of uh, two great uh, minds and um, companies and um, how that's going to uh, better service uh, the real estate uh, industry and uh, uh, clients as uh, as we move forward. Mm -hmm. I'm really excited yeah. when Mariana, you know. We, when we had our first appointment about this, you know, it was like, yes, absolutely, I would love to do this. Like, it's a complete no-brainer for me. Oh, I can see his face. It was, it was, it was, it was, real, it felt really good, actually. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh, good. Yeah. Good. So, yeah, yeah, with, no, it did. Yeah. So with Mariana and her, you know, her agents coming on board, it just, it gives us so much more. Like, we have plenty of different strengths, which are now going to come together for the benefit mm -hmm. of you know, our agents, but when we're benefiting our agents, what we're really doing is providing with the tools and the support right. and the mentorship they need to help our clients. And that's what it's really all about. We're doing everything in the background to make sure our agents are professional and they have everything they need so our clients can achieve their real estate goals. And the brand is very important to me. I've been with Cobalt Banker for, well, 27 years. And that was one of the biggest decisions I was trying to decide because my, my franchise agreement was actually up mm -hmm. um, in November oh. and trying to decide what was best for my company or my agents as well as myself. Where did I see myself moving forward now that I've been around for quite a while and I don't want to be doing this forever either, but I want to make sure everybody's 
you know, in good hands. I'm not like I'm going anywhere, but I just want to be able to step back and do what I want to do and not have the overall pressures of running an office anymore. Um, and what I, you know, knowing Chris and Joelle, what they have, I could see a really good fit for my agents, um, as well as what I think we could all bring to the table. We all have different strengths. I have a great variety of ages in my office, um, young and older people with a lot of experience and, mm -hmm. and that. So I think the, the, the whole joining of everybody together today um, is going to be amazing to see how they all can intertwine and uh, get together as far as that part goes. So Yeah, I have to say I'm excited. I'm very excited to meet yeah. everybody that's yeah. coming over from your team there. Um, I've had the pleasure of communicating with at least one agent so far, mm -hmm. which is great. Um, and I can't wait to meet everybody. Uh, uh, or I've already met everybody, right? By the time this podcast drops. Yeah, that's right. That's right. That's what I, did. Yeah, that's what I keep saying. Yeah. But it is. I mean, it's, it was, once I got through my head that I'm going to make a change, mm -hmm. then I'm like, okay, what is the best thing for me to do for everybody? And that was to stay with the brand. Luckily enough, Chris had opened up in June. Mm -hmm. um, so he, I mean, he was familiar with the brand yep. way, way back then. But things have really changed even then mm -hmm. um, since, he, since he's been with, you know, been out of the brand and back in mm. the brand. And new ownership and everything. Because we are now Canadian owned. Prior to that, mm. uh, we were US owned. Mm -hmm. um, so there's been a lot of changes and a lot of different things. So I usually go deep in with the tools and things that Cole Bank has to bring, that, that offers. You know, some are hit and miss. Some I've already had for years that I implemented. And that's why when I went outside of the uh, Nova Scotia, I brought in a lot of like there was no teams, there's none of this stuff or systems or anything. And I mean, right. I was I was operating buyer agency and seller agency for over 20 years or more. So it was a no brainer when it came in. I, you know, I was audited everything so they could see how I had the Chinese wall, how I operated and everything, even though it wasn't even to paper in a sense. So right. those, so I, I I love helping agents how to distinguish between the buyer agency, how you can present yourself, how you are as a, a listing agent or, you know, that kind of thing. So there's all kinds of um, ways of doing business. And with Coal Banker, they've always been the leading edge on technology. Yes, everybody, all the other br uh, brands have these things and usually catches up, but they're always spending the money to get ahead, get newer things and bringing things in. And one of the biggest thing that I love and I keep stressing to Chris is what Cole Banker has is the ultimate service program. Right. And I was one of 10 of the agents way back in, I don't know, 20 years, I think it's in the bit thing, that we yeah. put this together. Right. What are we gonna do to differentiate ourselves? I can never forget, we were in head office in Toronto and with these with the other core agents and say, okay, what are we gonna do? What can we differentiate ourselves to alleviate the worries of working with a real estate agent? And that's where the ultimate service came into play, where they went and um, talked to a lot of the consumers, what, was, what were their heartaches and so on and so forth. So with the ultimate service program, it's a guaranteed uh, program of service so that when uh, we do business, we explain how what we're going to do for you, and we sign a paper saying this is what we're doing, and then you and if you're not happy with the service or we don't provide that service, you have 24 hours to get it rectified with the broker manager, um, and if you can't, we release you from your contract. Mm -hmm. So my saying <clears throat> is always is if you don't if we don't keep our promises, you don't keep us. Right. So we put it in writing, and at the end of the transaction, they will get a survey that is an independent survey that will go, and we get critiqued on our service. And there's a 98.8% um, satisfaction. Good. So it's huge. Across yeah. the entire company. Across the yeah. entire company. And that's yeah. huge, right? Yeah. And you have to have that. So I think that's one of the biggest things I believe that differentiates ourselves. We put our money where our mouth is. Right. Yeah. Right. As mm -hmm. a Cobalt Banker yeah. um, agent. Yeah, I, I'm, I mean, I like the brand. I've only been with it since June. <laughs> and I, missed it. Like, I was you know, in my brief hiatus, I call it. Like I decided to 
You know, there was lots of boutique brokerages in Halifax and they seemed to be doing well. Mm -hmm. You know, things changed a lot in the last few years, you know, especially with, you know, through COVID, you had a lot more people coming from outside the province. So I think having that international brand recognition, that connection, the, you know, the integration of offices across the country and around the world is uh, really important. So well, happy yeah. to be back. Oh, yeah. Well, I'm glad you're happy. I'm happy we're here. <laughs> coal bankers, I mean, I love it. When I travel around the world, I will I make it a point to look up where a coal banker office is. And right. I'll go in and introduce myself, put us where on the map we are, if they don't know where we are, and, mm -hmm. and that kind of thing, and talk to them. So I've made some really good friends all over the world with coal banker. Yeah, you know, I've actually occasionally over the past seven months reached out to um, different Cobalt Banker uh, brokerages yep. in other parts of the country um, through, you know, just client uh, conversations and mm -hmm. stuff like that. And it's really great having that now. Oh, and we had the, uh, we had one referral come through from Ottawa shortly after we rebranded there, yeah. uh, which was almost instantly. Almost so, instantly, yeah. yeah. And that's so it's, the. Yeah. That's the measure yeah. of the, you know. Uh, yeah, yeah exactly. Measure. Yeah. No, it's, oh, yeah. No, it's, it's a great huge. feeling. Yeah. It, it's, it's huge. Yeah. Um, the, if you go and you network with the agents and the the, net, the referral business that we get, is, it's amazing. Mm -hmm. right. You know, it's funny. Funny side note. You know where Coldwell Banker is not? <laughs> it's not in Germany. It's all over Europe. But it's not in Germany. I just I've, I've, I only bring that up because I had some clients I've been working with on and off for the past uh, few years, and uh, I met, met with them at their um, summer house down the eastern shore there, and they uh, they asked me they said Adam. Are you a mortgage specialist now? <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. That's one thing you get as the banker. Yeah. Yeah. Our founders were at Coldwell oh. Bank. Yes, yeah. yeah. Maybe you should move to Germany and open up a branch there. You know, you That's can do right. it first. Yeah. Yeah. They still, they, they are working on certain areas. There's, there, there, there has been um, offices in certain areas in the world, and they've not renewed their franchise because they didn't comply with our standards okay. like they coal banker has high standards of mm -hmm. who they have or how they practice real estate and everything like that right. so yeah. you, we've had people that have left um because they weren't following through uh well this has been great we don't want to take up uh, too much of your time and uh we do like to keep it to about uh, what time are we at now so we're sitting at around 28 minutes oh, like, perfect right on the nose 30 minutes there we go do we have any closing uh closing thoughts or anything I just want to say to everyone yeah. that I, I'm really excited for this opportunity. Thank you for considering us when you were making your next move. And, you know, we just can't wait to see uh, what we can do together. Oh, yeah. No, I'm very excited. Like, yeah. everybody's like, are they, are you sad that you've, you know, you're letting go of Super City Realty? And I am a little bit, but no, I'm yeah. happier than I've been in a long time. Um, not that I was sad about Super City, but no, I'm, I've got a new rebirth is what I look at it yeah. and excited to see what's going to move forward. And I'm excited more so than ever to watch agents grow in this organization. And I'm looking forward to seeing Cobalt Banker Maritime Realty. Yeah. only took me three times to change my voicemail. <laughs> um, yeah, when you say Super City for so long. Maritime Realty, which is a great name because we do a lot of business outside of the areas like mm -hmm. we're Cape Breton we're South Shore we're I mean deep places that I've done a lot of business all over the years so mm -hmm. um, Maritime is a is a great fit yeah. yeah well I'm really excited that uh, you and your team are, are with uh, Global Bank of Maritime Realty now too because yeah. uh, I'll certainly be yeah, you know, picking your brain and several other agents who have been on your team for quite some time mm -hmm. now as well. Yeah, so I'm excited yeah. about it as well. Yes. yes. No, it's good. This it's is a happy union. It's a happy, happy union. union. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Yes, it is. <laughs>